Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the Google Analytics Chrome extension and why it's useful. So we need to go into Google search and search for Google Analytics Chrome extension. As you type the search in, it automatically writes it for you. And then you need to select it. And this is the one you're looking for. There are other Chrome extensions to do Google Analytics, but this is the one by Google, which you see I've already added to Chrome. In your case, you'll click on that to add it to Chrome. And what you'll have is this little guy up here. Now, if you're not logged in to your Google Analytics account, um, then you'll get a uh, login screen here, all okay? right, which I'm not getting. But of course, I'm not getting any data either because this is not a page. So if I go to uh, WP Business Club, is where I prepared earlier. So you can turn the tool on and off. When you turn it on, you can see we've only just started this site. Already you can see the users coming into this page. See the users, the amount of time, the bounce rate, which is when they come to a page and leave again. So this shows that the site has started to get visitors, which is great. But what's really neat is that we can see here the clicks. Let me just move my mouse out of the way. You can see the percentage of the clicks and more stats if you get near them to show you where people are clicking on to get information. And that applies to all pages. So uh, I have found this has been quite annoying actually. Because the side ones get picked up all over the place. So what I've had to do is sometimes I've had to turn it off and then hit a page and then turn it back on again. Okay, and now we can see that 50% of the people are going back to latest posts after they've read this. Uh, if they have been reading Genesis, so the Genesis theme review has been very interesting for people. And this works for all the websites to which you have a logged in account. So if I go to this site, Station Energy Books, we've just, again, another site we've just set up for WooCommerce. And you can see immediately you've got activity already started on it. And we can see which pages have the most click throughs. So as I would predict, quite a few people reading the about us to find out about the business. Others going back to the home page and the first book being the most popular it seems. And then when you don't want it around you just turn it off again. That is how the Google Analytics works. It's a very nice and quick way to find out what's going on your site. And there's one little of the trick, which is this color coding thing, which gives you an idea of how popular the particular links are. As you see, you can set it up for different rates. So you can look at the most popular or just all the links and get an idea through the color coding as well. It doesn't look so good on here because they're all roughly the same percentages. Well that's Google Analytics and uh, obviously if you go into the Google Analytics link itself you'll get much more detail then. But uh, I hope you find that useful. Uh, thank you very much and um, see you in the next video. For more info visit wpbusinessclub.com